The Timbers have made a new signing, but who is Bill Tuiloma? So welcome back, new and returning viewers, to something a little bit different. Well, that is if you haven't seen my Who is Luis Mabiala video that I made a few weeks ago. This video is going to have the same concept as that one, as I'm just going to do a player profile on the new Timbers signing, Bill Tuiloma. He officially signed for the Timbers yesterday, and it was rather unexpected for us fans. We didn't really know who he was, where he's come from, and things like that. Hence why I'm kind of making this video to inform you guys of his previous clubs and playing time elsewhere. An unexpected but interesting signing, as we've had so many players out due to injury and international duty recently, we've really been lacking in the midfield defensively and defence positions. However, let's jump into some stats about Tuiloma and where he's previously played. So Bill Tuiloma. He's 22 years old and plays in the defensive midfield or anywhere along the back line. He weighs 175 pounds and stands 5 foot 10 inches tall, according to the Timbers player profile page. However, on Wikipedia and the Transfer Market uh, website, he's actually 6 foot, so not really sure which one to trust. He's from New Zealand and grew up in a town called Christchurch. And in his football career, he's made a total of 65 appearances with 20 of those being for the New Zealand senior national team. He spent most of his youth career at teams in the New Zealand First Division, before in 2011 he made his senior debut at the age of 16 for Waitaka United. However, in the 2012 to 2013 season, he spent time at LA Galaxy 2 in the USL. However, I don't actually have any statistics of him playing there because I couldn't find any like anywhere, so sorry about that. After his spell at LA Galaxy Academy, he came to London, where he spent a week on trial at Queen's Park Rangers. It was believed that he did well at QPR, but Marseille came knocking at the door and wanted him for a trial. It's believed that they have links with QPR, as if you remember a few years ago, Joe Barton made the move to Marseille. In his trial at Marseille, however, he did pretty well and played in one match, and uh, they liked him so much that a month later, they signed him. However, he spent most of his time at the Marseille B team and made 35 appearances in four years over different spells. He did, however, make his debut for Marseille in February 2015 when he came on as a substitute. But he didn't really make an impact on the first team and only went on to make one more appearance for them. He was then in 2015 sent on a season loan deal to Strasbourg, who at the time were in the French third division. In that season for Strasbourg, he was kind of used as a rotation slash backup player and only made nine appearances. They did, however, get promoted that season into the French League 2, where last year they actually won, so now this season they're going to be playing in the French League 1. He failed to get a loan extension or a contract offer at Strasbourg, so then returned in 2016 to Marseille. Here, however, he still failed to really push into the first team and then as of July 26, signed for the Portland Timbers. With joining the Timbers, he takes up an international spot on the roster and Claire Porter said that his contract is a minimum six months with the chance to extend it. Now it should be mentioned that he's played quite a few times for the New Zealand national team, whether that be in uh, age groups from under 17, under 20s, under 23s, all the way to their senior team. More recently, he played in the FIFA Confederations Cup and made three substitute appearances in all of New Zealand's games. In Caleb Porter's most recent press conference, which I'll link below, he talked about the Timbers new signing, saying how he's kind of gonna be used on a rotational slash backup uh, role with all of these players out specifically, you know, that defensive midfield slot can sometimes get thin with international call-ups, but you know, he's, got, he's an international player anyway, so sometimes when New Zealand have uh, international games, he's likely to get called up, so it's kind of a double problem. We haven't really thought that through maybe, but you know, he said that he doesn't really know a lot about the guy. Uh, Gavin Wilkinson kind of just laid the offer on the table. At the end of the day, he's 22 years old. He's quite a big guy. I've seen photos of him. You know, I think he, he would do good at centre back and at centre defensive mid. And a lot of people on the website or on a uh, Reddit, sorry, have said that he, he played pretty well in the Confederations Cup. And a couple have said that in the under 20s World Cup for New Zealand a couple of years ago, he did very well. Sadly, he won't be featuring in the 18 man squad for Saturday's game against Houston as he hasn't got his visa yet. And it's likely when we've got a full squad, he's going to be spending a lot of his time at T2 developing his game there but you know as Caleb Porter said in the press conference he doesn't really know a lot about him he hasn't seen him a lot so hopefully he can surprise Caleb Porter and, and us a lot and you know possibly make first team appearances or at least on the backup side so yeah that's all I really have about Bill Tuiloma there's not a lot really to say I mean the Luis Mabiala player profile I had quite a lot to say over his appearance I think he made over 200 club appearances so there was a lot to say there 
but not really a lot to say. Hopefully this video isn't too long and uh, it's been informative for you guys that don't know a lot about him. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Always helps keep me motivated and let me know what you think in the comments below about this new Timber signing. Stick around because tomorrow, as in Friday, I should be releasing my Houston match preview video. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.